finding our comfortable seated position, pulling those shoulders back and down, putting some pride in our chest, some air in our belly, some weight in our sitting bones. Breathing in and out through our nose. Good. And now let's inhale and lift those hands up high. We're just going to do big circles with our arms. So as we exhale, bring them back behind us. Open up that chest. And then inhale, we'll lift them high. Exhale them back. And again, inhale them up. And exhale them back. Good. And now let's switch directions. So we'll inhale back and up. Whew. And exhale, coming on forward. And we'll do three of those big circles. Good. And then we can bring those hands back to our thighs or our knees. And then we'll just do some little seated cats and cows. So inhale, we'll lift the heart. And exhale, we'll round in the spine. Inhale, lift. And exhale, we'll round. Moving with our breath, just get that spine moving. Do one more of each. Inhale. Pull those shoulders back. Lift the heart. And then exhale. We round and we'll stay rounded and just keep folding forward. Bringing our arms down to the floor. Hands and elbows can find the floor. We can even bow our heads. Just stay nice and rounded. Good. And now while we're here, we'll just walk our hands over to one side. And then we'll walk our hands around to the other side when we're ready. Good. And then back to the center. Lower that chest down. And then on our next inhale, we'll slowly help ourselves back up to the top. Let's lift those hands up to the sky. And we'll go over to the right with them. So our right hand can find the floor. Left hand can reach up and over. Let's open up that side body just a little bit more. Good. Inhale up. And we'll hang out over to the left. Press those sitting bones down into our mat. Good. Inhaling up and then one more forward fold. This time let's keep our back straight, reaching those arms out long. Good. And then round and roll our way up to the top. Let's do one quick little twist. 
and we'll get on to moving. So we'll move around over to the right, bringing our hand behind us. Our left hand can come to the thigh on the outside of that right leg. Inhale, we lengthen, exhale, we twist as we relax. Good, and back around to the center, lengthen on that inhale, and then exhale, we'll twist around to the other side. Good, and back around to the center. Our hands will find the floor, and we'll come up onto our hands and our knees, opening up those fingers nice and wide, pressing each little digit into the ground. And we'll tuck our toes underneath of our feet, and we'll press back so we can open up those uh, arches and our ankles. Good, and now let's come on forward. We'll find that neutral spine, we'll soften our feet. <clears throat> Hands are pressing in, our uh, hips are over our knees. And let's make sure that we're breathing all along into our torso right here. Good, and now keeping that back straight, we're only hinging at the hips, we're going to press back, uh, hips go over the heels, not quite child's pose. Keeping that torso nice and strong as we inhale back up to tabletop and then exhale back, just hinging at the hips, keeping that back nice and long and strong. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Good, and now with our hips over our heels, we're gonna walk those hands out a little bit further, keeping that long back, so no arching or rounding, keeping it strong, strong, strong. We're gonna come forward into like a little baby plank. So our hips will come forward, but keeping that long back. Still working in that core and then hinging at the hips, we'll come back. And then inhale, we'll come forward, gently opening up those hip flexors, but we're just really moving in those hip sockets, keeping that core nice and strong. We're gonna need it as we go through the rest of our day. Okay, let's do one more forward, one more back. Lengthen in those hip flexors. And exhale, we'll come on back, pressing into the floor with those hands. As we come forward this time, our right foot will come up into a baby lunge. I like to do it outside of my hands. And we'll get into those hips a little bit deeper. Proud chest long spines, relax those shoulders. Good, and coming on back, child's pose. But now we'll come up and do the other side, left foot comes forward, sink those hips down, lift the heart.
Good. And back to our child's pose. Good. And now I'm going to turn around so we can see this. I'm going to come forward, bring that right foot up into our lunge. Nice, strong back. Sink those hips down and we'll lift up the right hand. Little twist. Good, and now with our breath, we'll just exhale down and inhale back up, just getting that thoracic spine a moving. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Good. Let's do one more. And we'll exhale down. Good. And now hands are on the floor. We're going to tuck that uh, left toe behind us and get into a bit of a full lunge here. Good. And now let's bring our hands out in front of our right toes. And we'll press into that left leg and we'll begin to lift, oops, or into the right leg, lift the left leg into a three point balance. We're not looking to do the splits, we're just balancing. Good. And then let's bend that right knee, lower the left down. We can even lower the left knee. And come all the way back to our child's pose. <clears throat> Good. Inhale. Let's come forward. Bring the left foot forward in our little lunge first. Good. And then let's lift up the left hand. Open up for that twist. Sinking that right hip down. Lengthening throughout our entire spine. Pressing into this right arm to keep that shoulder active. Good, and now with our breath, exhale, we'll come down. Inhale, we'll come up. Little twists and movement in our spine. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Keeping that lunge and the length in our spine. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Let's do two more. Last one. Inhale up and exhale down. Good. Hands are firmly planted into our mats. We'll tuck that right toe, come up to a full lunge. Feel our strength. And then we'll walk those hands out in front of those left toes, pressing into the left foot, and we'll begin to lift up the right for a three-point balance. Pointing the right toes down to the floor, pressing that heel away, which will give us a little bit of lift, relaxing the shoulders, using those hands to help with our balance. Feeling the strength in our quad. Good. And now let's bend that left leg. We'll come back to our lunge. All the way down, baby lunge. All the way back. Child's pose. Let's take two breaths here. Good. From here, let's tuck our toes underneath of our butts, pressing into our hands. Pulling the shoulders back, breathing into our bellies, activate that core. And when we're ready, we'll lift the tails up and away. And we'll set ourselves up for downward facing dog. Feel free, pedal the legs, wiggle our tails a little bit. Pulling those shoulders back and away from our ears. Good. 
Good, let's inhale forward into a plank. Plank can be on our toes or on our knees. Good. And now let's exhale, chest will go forward, elbows will go back, we'll lower ourselves down. And then inhale, we'll come up to a little cobra. So hands are underneath of our shoulders and we'll pull those chests forward and then up. Good, exhale down. Tuck those toes, activate the quads, press into those hands and come back to our downward facing dog. Good. And now let's slowly walk forward into our forward fold. So feet come up to our hands, the top of our mat. You can bend the knees. Kind of wiggle here, see how we're feeling. Good, and now let's bend those knees even deeper, round in that back as we slowly roll and rise up. Hands come up high. Good, exhaling down to Tadasana. Good, inhaling up. Good, from here, keeping our hands up high, let's bring those thighs together and we'll sit down into our chair. Good, inhale, coming on up. And now exhale, swan diving down to our forward fold. Good, inhale to a flat back half lift so our hands can go to our shins or our thighs, to the floor. Exhale, let's come on down and we'll step back with our left foot into a lunge. Right foot forward, left foot back. Good, and coming on up, high lunge. Beautiful, let's take that right hand back, left hand forward, little twist. Back to our high lunge in the center. <clears throat> Good, and now let's drop that left heel behind us and we'll come into a warrior two. So our right knee is bended, left leg is long, toes are pointing in opposite directions, arms are hanging out to our sides nice and long, dropping the shoulders, lifting the heart, sinking down into that lunge as best we can. Good. And now let's take that right arm down to the thigh. Let's lift the left hand up for side angle. Good. And then back to our warrior two. Good. Let's reach those hands out and bring them down to the floor in front of that right toe again. We'll come up to a three-point balance. As we're warming up, maybe we're putting less and less pressure on those fingers as we balance. Good, bending that right knee, coming back down to our lunge, hands behind the floor, let's step back down our facing dog. Good, inhale forward into our plank. Good, strong plank. Exhale, we'll lower down. Inhale, we can do a baby cobra or we're feeling a little bit um, more flexible. We can come up to an upward facing dog or a full cobra. Good, tuck those toes, lift the hips, press back for downward facing dog. Good, let's lift up that left leg. 
and we'll step forward into a lunge on the other side. Good, and then we went to high lunge, right? And then high lunge, so bringing those hands up, sinking down, dropping the shoulders, breathing into that belly, keeping that back supported. And then we'll take that left arm back, right arm forward. Little twist. Good, back up to the center. And then we'll begin to work our way into warrior two. So dropping that left heel or the right heel, bending the left knee, opening up our shoulders, our hips are pointing out to the right. Good. And then we'll come on down to side angle. So left arm to the thigh, right arm can come up nice and high, or we can reach above our head. Good, back to warrior two. Good, and then we begin to reach forward with those left fingers and we'll come on down to the floor in front of our left toes, lift up for three point balance. Good, and then lowering that right foot back down to our lunge. We'll step back downward facing dog. Inhale forward to our plank. Exhale, we'll lower down. Inhale to a back bend. Good, let's tuck those toes, lift the hips for a downward facing dog. Good. Looking forward, bending our knees, keeping that back nice and straight. We can step or hop to the top of our mat into a forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale with fold. Bending the knees, rolling our way up. Hands come up high. Good. From here, let's sit down into our chair. Good. Inhale. Let's stand up nice and tall. Good. Again, sitting down into our chair. Hands can stay up here. We can bend our arms. We can come to prayer. We're just going to begin to lift up one heel. Maybe we switch heels. If we're feeling spicy, let's see if we can bring both heels up and we're only balancing on our toes. Good, let's lower those heels down. Inhale all the way up high. Good, let's do a little back bend here. And then exhale, swan diving down to our fold. Good, let's step back with that left foot into our lunge. Good, and now we'll open up warrior two. Good, let's bring that right hand up for reverse warrior. <clears throat> Lengthening all through the right side of our body, sinking down into that lunge. 
Good. And now let's work our way into triangle. So straightening that right leg, shifting the hips back behind us, reaching forward. Reach, 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 reach. And then drop the arm, keeping our torso exactly where it was. Lifting the left hand to the sky. Pressing into the floor with both of those feet and then lifting through the inside of our legs. Good, let's come to warrior two. All right, reaching forward. Hands go down, lifting that left leg. Three point balance. Good. From here, we can begin to lift up one hand, reach back behind us, or the other hand. See how we are? Can we get both hands back there? Whew. If it gets windy, we come back down, get back on the horse, right? Good. And then slowly hands come back down. Our left foot will find the floor back behind us. We'll step back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Good, inhale forward into our plank. Exhale, we'll lower down. Inhale into a little back bend. Good, tuck those toes, press back downward facing dog. Good, stepping forward with our left foot into our lunge. Good, and then we'll work our way into warrior two on this side. Sinking down into that lunge, opening the shoulders and the hips. Check yourself out in your camera if you need. Good, and now reverse warrior. Beautiful, and now into our triangle. So straightening that left leg, shifting the hips back, reaching forward with that left hand, reach, 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 reach. And then just hinge at that shoulder. The more you pull this right hip away, the more you'll feel a good stretch in this left leg. Good, let's come back up, warrior two. Beautiful. Now let's begin to, first we gotta reach, 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 reach. So reach, and then hands can find our three-point balance. So we're shifting that weight, and then as we breathe, as we set ourselves up in our balance, maybe we lift up a hand, we try the other hand, see how it feels, see where we're at, if we can lift up both hands, even if we put them on our shin. Good, and then slowly we'll lower back down to our lunge. We'll step back, downward facing dog. Good, again, let's flow through our vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale, we'll lower down. Inhale to a back bend. 
tuck those toes, press back. Downward facing dog. Now let's walk our hands backwards to our forward fold. Good. Bending the knees, we'll rise up nice and slow. Big exhale, let's bring those hands down to our sides for Tadasana. Good. And now, bringing our hands to our hearts, we're going to shift all of our weight onto our right foot and slowly bring up the left. Good. Lowering that down, we'll shift over to the left foot and lift up the right. Beautiful. So we're feeling that shift of weight. We're feeling a nice, good, strong hip. We're active. We're not just sitting bone on bone in our hip joint as we do this. So now, Hands to our hearts. We'll lift that left foot up and gently step forward and then lift up the right for warrior three. Hands can stay at our hearts. They can come back Superman style. I guess this is more like airplane. Arms can come out forward like Superman. Good, and then bending that knee, we'll step backwards to that right foot, and then back to the back of our mat, oh so gracefully. Good, hands can come to our hearts, we'll go to the other side, so left foot is nice and strong, right foot comes up, we find our balance here, and it doesn't have to be the biggest step in the world, just a little step, shift the weight, stack the hip over the knee, over the ankle, Turn the hips down to face the floor, looking at something in front of us that is not moving. Good, and then slowly stepping back and stepping back with the right, wiggle it out, whew. Good, let's inhale nice and high. Let's exhale, folding forward. Good, inhale to a flat back. Exhale, as we fold, we'll walk those hands forward into a downward facing dog. Good. Let's lift up the left leg and we'll step forward into our lunge. And we'll come into warrior two. So we're going to work on a goofy balance from here. I find this is one of the best ways that I can get into half moon. So I start in warrior two. And like we've been doing, we're gonna begin to reach. I'm reach, 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 reaching until that right foot comes up off of the floor. We find that balance. And then I begin to lower that left hand down to the ground. I open myself up to the right. This is really hard, so if we fall down, it's okay. And Open ourselves up like a star. Good, and then however we would like to come out of this pose, both hands can find the floor. We can come to our forward fold from here, hang out for a little bit if we would like.
Good. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, we fold a little bit further. And then since we have folded forward toward the front of our mat, we'll step back with our left foot into our lunge. Right foot forward, left foot back. And then we can open up for warrior two on this side. Bending that knee. Finding our balance here. And then begin to shift the weight. And it doesn't have to be a quick thing. We shift, 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 shift until that left leg wants to come up off of the floor. Reaching. And then we can slowly, when we decide, we can slowly lower that right hand down to the floor. Open ourselves up to the left. Ooh, it's really windy in here today. Good, and now let's just bring both of those hands back down. Lower our leg, come into our fold. We'll even walk our feet heel toe, heel toe out a little bit wider. We'll lower our butts down into our malasana squat from here. Good. And with all the grace we can muster, we'll lower ourselves down onto our butts. We can give our legs a little shake. <sighs> give ourselves a wiggle. And then from here, keeping our left leg nice and long, we're going to bend the right knee. We can even cross it over that left leg in a bit of a figure four at first if we would like. Find that straight back, see how we're feeling. If we're happy here, we can stay here. We can bend that left knee, helping ourselves deepen that stretch in our hip. Or if we would like, if we prefer, we can cradle the baby, which is where I like to go. I bring that foot into the crook of my elbow, the knee into my opposite elbow. And then straighten, bringing my chest into that shin. You can even rock the baby if you'd like. That feels good in the hip and the glute. We can even lower ourselves down. And if you can notice, we've flipped our pigeon upside down. Big deep breaths. And then when we're ready, whoo! Oh, that worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Then come on up. We can release that right leg, give it a wiggle, shake it out. And then when it's time, we'll move over to the other side. So right leg can stay nice and long. Left leg can start out just crossing over the knee. Kind of feel where that hip is. Because you don't want to like jump into like the hardest thing. You don't know how your body is feeling. And always keeping our backs nice and straight.
can cradle that baby if we would like. Stay here for a few more breaths. Not as good on this side. And then we can release that leg, give it a shake. And then we can roll up into our egg, lower ourselves down onto our backs. Rock side to side, forward and backward if we would like, if that feels good. Good, and then when we're ready, Legs come up to the sky. We're just going to hold behind the thighs or the calves, pressing our tails into our mat, flexing our feet, and then just helping those legs come forward. And then we'll just release that help from our legs. We'll open up the knees nice and wide. Elbows will go inside. Hands will come to the pinky toes of our feet. And we'll relax our shoulders, our whole spine into our mat, and hang out in dead bug for a few breaths here. Breathing in, we should feel our tummies press into our thighs. Eddie's going to do a down dog. And, and then we'll release those legs, hug those knees into our chest, roll up into our little egg. And then one last time, hands and feet come up to the sky. We'll wiggle our fingers and our toes. Roll around in those wrists and ankles. Stretching those legs and arms up to the sky. Exhale, let's lower them down. One final stretch here, making ourselves as long as we absolutely can and then one exhale to release it all we close our eyes we soften our jaws we relax our tongues we quiet our minds and we allow ourselves a few minutes of stillness. Breathing in and out.
We feel the support of the earth underneath of us. And deepening our breath. Begin to wiggle our fingers and our toes. And gently move our head from side to side. We slowly come back into our space. Listen to our bodies and we give it what it's asking for right now. A little twist or a wiggle. And then when we're ready, we'll bring those knees into our chest. We'll rock over onto our side. And we'll gently help ourselves up to a comfortable seated position. Take this time to check in with how our body is feeling right now. And together we'll inhale, lifting our hands up to the sky, bringing them together at the top, and exhaling them down to our hearts with gratitude. Giving thanks to us for all of the gifts that we gave ourselves today. Let's make sure that. 
as we go through the rest of our day and the rest of our week, we try and achieve a modicum of balance as we did through our practice today. A little bit of work with a little bit of play. I thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice with you today. I hope that we feel even just a little bit better than when we started. I wish you all a very, very happy day. The light and the divine in me recognizes and respects the light and the divine in each of you. And when we are together, whether virtually or physically, we are one. Namaste.